All right, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Grim Fandango here on Bite Size Beefs. So last time we were going to go talk to the bees, because we need to talk to them about uh, getting tools, cold I believe. One, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always, yeah, it's always cold, cold out here, man. It's the docks. Man. You always got to keep warm when you're going out, especially at night if you're working or being anywhere near the water at night. It gets real cold. Bundle up. So unemployed. I thought they were going to be in the union, though. The union? So I thought they would have work, right? Because if they're in the union... Oh, they must have got downsized or something. Oh, I mean... We run an honest hey, joint with nobody, joint. apparently. We ain't in bed with nobody. I mean, we've been gone for a year, so we don't know. Money. We pay every week. On the nose. Oh, <laughs> the protection money, Manny. That kind of, uh, I mean? kind of counts, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so. And and scratching, scratching each other's, other's backs, backs, huh? So why aren't you guys up there working? You guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks. No, nah, man. Fill me in. What's if the deal on the docks? The jobs, you have to pay the Extra dues, you say? Ah, it looks like everybody's got their hand in the cookie jar down here, huh? Ugh, oh, everybody. So why don't you just pay the union off then? I mean, if you guys get a bunch of money together, maybe you're good. Oh, they're trying to keep on the straight and narrow, that's why. Honest job, honest work, honest pay, you know? There's something humble about having, like, honest job, honest work, honest pay, that kind of thing. Especially for construction workers and such. I wish I knew boys like that. So if the union's crooked, why don't you register a complaint? If Manny, I don't think that's going crooked, to, uh... Why don't you register a complaint? That's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, me and this guy get the same idea. Just laugh at him. That's not... We should register a complaint. <laughs> no, man, there's... Uh, they're, they're gonna take that complaint and they're gonna burn it. Along with these guys' pay stubs. So, you bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Don't we have a book from last session that I got that has to do something with, like, a worker's manifesto of some sort? Can we perhaps give these boys a book in exchange for, say, their tools that we're looking for? But I think you're just a bunch of complainers. Let's just see what they got to say about that, huh? We don't know what it's like. Fill me in, brother. Yeah, see, honest living, right? Oh, so they're being crushed underneath the rest of the crooked force. Uh, it's hard, man. It's hard if you're trying to get uh, ahead in a place where everybody's getting ahead by doing illicit dealings. You'll never get ahead, man. So since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? I mean, yeah, we need them. We could trade. I got a book. Sold them to feed our families. Oh no! I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I oh man, you. that is definitely irony right there. They can't work because they don't have tools, but they sold their tools. That way they can get money for food. Oh, that's terrible. If the cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops. the cops own the union. Wait, could we maybe help? With the cops. Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Right? Well, no offense, but can we uh, can we maybe have some really the big boy sway down here then, since we're gambling as well? Is, he gets his orders from some huh. hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Oh, yeah, El Maro, you say? I think we know who you're talking about. You that guy with the fez. Thing. Hey, can I borrow some of your union can I cards? One of your union cards? What are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get my. Oh, they are they counterfeits? What about, yeah, Seaman Naranja? You guys know a Seaman Naranja? Nah, yeah, Naranja. I don't really know how to say that. It's in the same union. Well, weird. So, it's a J, so it should be Naranja. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they Yeah, gotta be strong. Can we give them that book yet? Like Manny, the give them the book. Bees, they do all the work. Give them the book, Manny. We can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled. Trolled. I mean, we should... <laughs> Man, this guy's... He can't find the words, just like I can't find the words. I'm sitting here trying to help him try to figure out that word. Just couldn't do it. We're straight stingers, you know? Alright, so I don't think we can give him... Actually, whoa, here we go. So what do we have here? Examine, examine, no. No, that's our stub. That's our ticket that we don't need. Ah, here we go. Select. Can we maybe give him this book? I think these are the words you're looking for. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, let's stir up some trouble. Shall control the means of production. Production. The workers shall control the means of Yes, that is it. That's what I've been trying to say. Yeah. Oh, we did something good. Did something good. <laughs> yes, we've got the revolutionary music going. This is great. Oh, we're even getting the bees who are in, uh, who are working. 
So I think we're gonna get all the Union Bees. Uh oh. Uh oh, is that the chief? Uh oh. Did we accidentally get the fuzz on our back? I hope not. So they're gonna take over the Union. I mean, if everybody's scared of the bees, the bees and getting stung, couldn't they just use their power of stinging? Oh, yeah, it is Police Chief Bogan. Oh, all red, huh? As in red-handed? Or red as in communist? Either way, neither is good. Oh, yeah, he said comrade, so that was definitely a, a jab at him being a communist. Yeah, we need him out, so... Good thing I know a lawyer we didn't get any here. items, though, but we, we have progressed a series of events, which is just as good. So we're down an item, I think. We're down the book. Hopefully. Hopefully we're down the book. If we're down the book, that means we don't have to use it anymore. Yes, good. We are down the book, which means we have progressed that line as far as it can go. Now, I think there's one other place left down on this level that we need to go check out that we haven't. I think it's... It's not over here, is it? This is the docks, yeah? Yeah, okay, sorry. I'm just getting my bearings straight, y'all, because uh, it's been a week or so since I've loaded this up. Had a nice backlog of episodes. Nope, that's where we came from. And so it means we need to go down this way. Ha-ha! I do like the water on it, though. The the old, like... Oh, what, what's it called? It's not FMV water, but there was a special technique for it that was, you know... They would have, like, the photorealistic stuff in these old games of point and clicks. So... I think... Is there something we have to do around here? No. Is there something we do in here? The garage? Maybe? Wow, we just teleported. Did you see that? We just teleported. Well, we can't go that way. Can we go this way? Manny, please run. Thank you. It's Teleporting hard, again. There's nothing up there anyway. This gate only leads up to the Lombada dock, and the Lombada's gone. I've got the lumps to prove it. Oh, yeah, okay. So that must have been the ship's dock that we uh, missed out on. So can we go this way? Down the track? Ooh, what's down here? The, we definitely have not been down here, here yet. Here it is. Max's giant cat race track. That's oh. a regular guy with three roulette tables. So he does do cat racing. Out. That's why we were hearing the cats before. So we're going to run down these steps. Hopefully there's something down there for us. Hopefully. Because I'm, I'm really at a little bit of a an end at odds end here with uh, what items I should be using and where. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, okay. We're lifting that up. What about it now? Oh, oh, Manny, are we... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I thought that was like a goo. No, I guess it's a secret... Oh, it is a secret little area we can go to. What's this? I think these are binders of tattoo designs. Oh, they tattoo designs, huh? Nice, and a third one just says nautical and nice. Angromania. What about the phone? Oh, that reminds me. I forgot about my date with Inez. Oh, no, Manny, you had a date? Oh, that's too bad. I think we need to, uh... This guy's drinking alcohol, huh? So let's talk to him. Let's see what Looks we can like get. Alright, so this guy is drinking alcohol every little bit. Whoop. I need that. You need to hold still, or I need to strap you down. Alright, hold on. Can we maybe give him the uh the gold beverage here? Sir, would you maybe really wanna do that? What do you mean you really don't want to do that? Maybe pour There's it in that bottle? Stuff than that in there already. Oh. Okay then. Just a Oh, are we drinking it? Oh. Well, maybe just to say we got an achievement for it. No, okay, so we can't take the guy's stuff, but maybe we can talk to the tattoo artist. There we go. Tattoo artist. Okay, so he's in the middle. Oh, that's Naranya. Okay, so we need to get him slow. We need to give him the coffin shooters. To knock him out. So we have to be able to find something to go back. What is there anything in here that we can get? Nope, doesn't look like it. Just, I am not touching that bed. Actually, let's touch it. I really doubt I'll be touching <laughs> that anytime. <soon>. Yep. <laughs> yeah, see, Manny do this exact same thing. So wait. Oh, we didn't even interact with the phone. Hold on, go back down, Manny. Go back down. I'm sorry. Sorry, y'all. Skip! 
Oh man, that that felt like forever. All right, so let's go ahead and mess with the phone. Hello, operator. Yeah, it's me, baby. How'd you know? <laughs> How'd you know? Hey, don't say that, sweetheart. You know I meant to stop by and. Oh no, is Inez the operator? I'm more happy about leaving town every minute. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so I can only assume that Inez was the operator on the other end of that, because that would have been quite funny if that was true. Okay, so we now know that we need to get that guy passed right out, which means we need to give him some of those coffin shooters. But how to get the coffin shooters, I don't know. So I guess our next big clue is we can go back and head back to the blue casket, but I'm just going to check over here first, because uh, where does this lead to us again? Go up, and then up the stairs. Can we go up the stairs farther? Because I don't think we went up the stairs all the way. Oh, yes, yes, we did. So, can we go out this way? Yeah, we can go out to the balcony, but is there like an actual other place we can go? No, there is not. So let's go down again. Is there an over we can go? Oh, yeah, there's an over we can go. Ooh, look at that big cat. That's spooky. Look at that. That's an aw That's awesome. Oh, is that... Has that been stuffed? That must be like a champion. Can we take it? Alright, so we're done here. Looks like. So this door's open, so we'll definitely go in here. Oh, that smell. Ooh. oh, it smells worse than death, is that what he said? Well, let's see if we can't uh, grab this, whatever that is. Revolutionary design leaves, leaves can edges, edges safe, safe and smooth, and smooth for kitty. kitty. Oh, we just got a uh, can opener. Cool. All right. Do we we don't have anything we can use the can opener with, do we? No, I don't think we do. All right. So either way, is there anything else over here? Nope. Nothing. And then we'll see if we can't go over here then. Oh, no, that's down. All right. Well, we need to go down anyway cuz this is the quick way back to the blue casket. So, we've made progress. We found another item. I had figured there was one place I didn't go last time in the casino or the cat betting, the cat racing ring. That's why I went back, because I remembered that there was something to do with, with the cat, but I didn't remember seeing the cat. So that's why I went back. Uh, I didn't know it was the can opener, though. I had no idea it was a can opener that we needed. But uh, let's see here now. Can we, can we go back into the kitchen and order more of those coffin shooters? Nope. Hey, wh where did our thing go? There was a thing here. <gasps> Wait a minute. I know what to do. If he's using the dishwater, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this, and then we're going to mix it. I don't really want to do that. Oh, what? No. Oh, come on. That was perfect. I'm not going to drink dirty hookah water. Oh, I man. I can't carry it with my bare hands. Well, that's why we have the bottle, dude. Seriously. Do we have anything else we could put it in? No? Do we have a can we can pick up? Oh, what's this? Let the waiter clean so? up to himself. No? Okay. Uh... Not to sound like a capitalist oppressor. No, so there's nothing. Oh wait, what about dishes? I'm not gonna eat off of dirty plates. Dirty plates? Ew. Okay, no. Don't eat off dirty plates, guys. Wash those plates. So can we get some coffin shooters, lady? How about another poem? Well, let's check. Let's see if we haven't exhausted all these. Oh yeah, here we go. Last one. With bony hands, I hold my partner. On soulless feet, we cross the floor. The music stops. As if to answer an empty knocking at the door. It seems you can see through the back of her head. That's creepy. Sweet as mango when last I held him to my breast. But now we dance this grim fandango. Oh, she said it! Ma'am, ma'am, are you okay? I mean, this lady is just tripping out. Also, she said the name of the game, you guys. They dropped great. it. They name dropped it. This time I just don't have any more. How about another poem? Hey, I'm bone dry, flesh just All right. really alive. We oh. slept. Life's just some rat. Oh yeah, okay, so she's repeating her poems now. Okay, so she's just repeating them. Okay, good. So we exhausted all of her poems. Ah, <sighs> let's see here now. Yeah. So I guess we can just keep getting her to re-say those each time. But is there a way to get a coffin shooter? We need a coffin shooter. Can we talk to these guys? Do they have one? Sirs. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my Salvador, Salvador Limones? Alright, so what about these people back here? Hello? Hi, what's your name? 
No, they do not want to talk to us. What about passed out lady? Hello, lady. Hello. Nope. Hmm. No effect. Nothing. So I, we don't really have anything to put the the coffin shooter in. So I'm stuck on that front. So let us go back up to the top and see what we cannot uncover. Oh, I do love... Okay, so I'm just going to comment that uh, I love how this game looks in the remastered version. I think they did a wonderful job remastering this. Let's go up. What's up? I think we've been up once before. Is that the... Oh, that's our club, right. So let's go all the way up back to our club because I think maybe we missed something there. You know, besides messing with... Uh, what, what was her name? Luca? Luca? What's her name? Luca? I forget. Coat check lady. Evening, Lupe. Lupe! Oh, it was Lupe. I knew it wasn't Luca. I have a note for you from Lola. Lola. Oh, Lola. Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, did she not oh, put it in her code check system so she could easily find it? Is that why she can't find it? Did, did you remember to put the number on the note so you could find it later? Here it is. There you go. Thanks, lady. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! How could you lose a key? Did come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system. Man, they messed up my whole system. Evening, Luke. Okay, so will she say the same thing? No. Okay. All right. What about in here? No. Oh, that's the exit. Ha! <laughs> Derp. Upstairs. We didn't do much upstairs because there wasn't much to do. I feared. So we can stop the roulette wheels again, maybe. Possibly. Let's check to see if we can. So we can operate this by clicking it. So we're going to make it stop on number three. Oh, number five. five red. So do we need to get somebody to bet on five red then? Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. Hmm, weird. Can we do this? Can't. I'd miss my boat. Oh, right. Yeah, so can't do anything here. And then we already got the item from inside the cabinet there. What about Glottis? Is Glottis still here? Maybe Glottis can help us. Glottis, I need help. Wee down the slide. <laughs> Glottis, my boy, help me. I'm stuck. I just had a run in with Domino and Meche. We're leaving town. Run in with Domino oh, nice new dialogue options. Okay. Town. What? What? How? Domino's got Meche. Yeah, oh, man, we're gonna go get our girl. What should I do? Just sit here until I get a boat. Sit here. Check. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Good. Sit here. Look pretty. Sit here. Look pretty. Now, can we go back here and maybe get one of our own glasses to? Use for the coffin shooter? I mean, that would be too logical, would it? wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? It'd be terrible. Terrible thing to do. Now, we've already got... Did we get everything we needed from... Chowchilla Charlie? Manny. Let's see here now. Can you make a reasonable union cards? Can you make... Matt? Are you going to start... Moonlighting? Moonlight? Can you do it? Mm. I have a... If you so, can retrieve my money from Maximino, I can make you... President, president of the Crooked of Union, the huh? Crooked Union. That sounds good. That sounds like what we needed. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for Suitcase of money? I Man, that could be hundreds of dollars if you put in all ones. Many. They stole my money like common thieves. I mean, everybody here is a thief, dude. This VIP pass and you ah, get we've got the, the VIP pass lounge. now. Oh, the High Rollers Lounge. We couldn't get in there before. I think I remember where that is. And my suitcase should be in it. Okay. If you make it back, Manny... The card will be on the table. Awesome. I now I don't condone the illegal actions of Chow Chilla Charlie, but he's really helping out Manny here, and that's uh that's a really good thing to do. <laughs> I mean, he's being a really good bad guy. <laughs> he's like chaotic good. He does whatever he wants. Up the stairs, Manny! We need to go to the other casino. And we need to take them. Take them for all that they've got. I'm sure there was a faster way down than this way, but oh well. This is the way we're going. Ah, right, this was the, uh... The... What are these called? Spy glasses? No, they're not called spy glasses. Lola, Lola, where... No, I can't remember what they're called. If you know what they're called, comment. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure I'll look it up while editing this and I'll put it on the screen, but either way, let me know in the comments if I forget to do that. Or just choose not to do that if I'm lazy. That happens sometimes, y'all. 
if I'm editing these at way too late in the evening because I forgot to edit them, then uh, sometimes I forget to do stuff. You know, stuff that I normally would do. And then you guys, you know, hound me for not doing it. You're like, you missed the thing. You didn't make the episode title right. <laughs> no, that was that was my own error. Uh, that was usually also during the Mario, the uh, Super Mario Odyssey videos, which were, whew, those were tough. I didn't like doing those after a while. I tried something new, didn't work. But uh, oh wait, is this the is this the way to the other casino? It looks ominous. Run, Manny, run, run across the extremely long bridge. Let's see. I think this is where we need to go. Hold on. Now, it's not up here, is it? This isn't the High Rollers Lounge. This is where our security guard lady is. And we don't have anything concealed on us yet, but we'll try. We'll try again. Because we, we think she's the cutie. Sir, if you will, please. Yes, I will. And I'm pretty sure we don't have anything, because I think we took the can opener out. Yep. Nope, sorry, lady. Not going to bust me this time. Oh, you're clean. <laughs> She's so upset about that. All right, down we go. And can we go this way or just down? All right. So there's got to be a high rollers lounge somewhere around here. I remember it. I just don't remember where it was. Oh, it was right here. Show him the card, Manny. I'm sorry, Monsieur, but here's my pass, Jean-Claude. Jean -Claude. <laughs> now shut those doors and drive. Oui, Monsieur. Thank you, but sir. Actually, my name is Raoul. <laughs> my name is Raoul, yet I have a French accent. Interesting. So, hold on, let's go this way. Because it's behind everything. Oh, let us schmooze with other guests. Wow, that is a big cat. That's a very big cat. What do you got to say? Nick Virago. Oh, it's Nick. Working in the High Roller Lounge. I would think Maximino's Oh no, it's not Maximino. I thought his name was Nick Maximino. Never mind. That was my own bad. I thought I was excited to see somebody important. Oh, is this one of the guys who's having an affair or something? I already got rid of that. I can do the same to you, Calavera. Oh. Oh, he dropped a key. And we can't click it before he can. So, sir, it looks like you have a key. I wonder where you got that. Keep my jaw shut. Uh, all right, sir. But uh, I believe you have something of ours, possibly. Ooh, we need a lawyer, huh? You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Maybe a little. I mean, I kind of got uh, somebody caught in the slammer, you know? It was uh, not really my fault. Any mouthpiece will do. An excellent lawyer. An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer. Or, or the best, best excellent ex lawyer? What does it matter as long as they're excellent? The very best is good enough for me. Very best. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer? Oh, great. Do we have to fluff this, guys? You are Nick. Well, the best lawyer would have to be a dead lawyer. <laughs> I don't have time for games, Virago. On second thought, I don't really need one. Uh, you know what? Let's just... Yeah, let's just say I don't have time for games. Games, Virago. Neither do I. So come back when you're ready. Oh, okay. I thought maybe that would get us like a sarcastic, sarcastic option. So, Vir yeah, Virago, I really need a lawyer. A friend of mine is in the slammer. An excellent lawyer. The very best is good enough. You are, Nick. You're the best. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive. Oh, he's on an exclusive contract. Oh, that sucks. That would have been super helpful. But nothing's ever easy in these games. Because if it was, it'd be over in an hour or two, rather than five or eight. Uh-oh, is this Maximilian? What's this cat statue? Take it. Take the cat statue. If I know Max, these will be wired to an alarm. You know me better than I thought. <laughs> Hello, Maximino. Hello, Maximino. Come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From yes, sir. Tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables. What's the difference? They go round. Uh, well, round I mean, one's covered in fur, and, and the other has balls. So, right? did I just make a neuter joke by accident? I think I just made a neutering joke by accident. Well, I'll get back into the starting window because we will go through his dialogue options. 
We'll go back on the screen. We'll go through his dialogue options on the next episode of Grim Fandango here on Bite Size Beefs. Take care, everybody. <laughs>